edition of Hoops All-Stars A to Z Basketball Training Guide. I'm your coach, Coach Ari, and here we go with the letter J. Let's start with the jab step. Let's forget about the neck for a sec, just hold the basketball and then stand in front of a chair and jab step in front of that chair. So you know that you're covering the chair in front of you with your body and the jab step is stepping out of that zone. So you're going to jab step and sell it to your defender that you're moving in that direction. Meanwhile, you're going to pull it back. Don't shoot, don't drive, don't worry about the net. Just pull 10 jab steps to the right side and then 10 jab steps to the left side. Move that chair out of the way because now we're going to do the jump stop. We're going to do one dribble into a two footed jump stop and then you go up quickly, you spring up and you let go with a layup. Alright, so attack the basket, give me 10 jump stops. Finish five times with your right hand and five times with your left hand. Alright, let's do that 10 more times. This time you're going to do the jump stop and then you're going to do a fake and then you're going to lean in and finish. Jump stop, fake that you're going to shoot, lean in and finish with your left hand, right hand, 10 attempts. Go. Moving along, J is also for jump ball. I want you to use the wall this time. Throw the ball off the wall, jump straight up, and then tip the ball behind you. Do that 10 times with the right hand, and then do it 10 times with the left hand.
is also for the juke, to juke your defender. Let's think about juke for a second. Maybe it's an older term, but nowadays we say ankle breakers. Let's juke the defender like an ankle breaker. So I want you to cross over and then wrap the ball behind your back and take off for a layup. So put the chair in front of you, cross over in front of the chair, wrap the ball behind your back, and then catch it with the other hand, go up for the layup. So it's a crossover, wrap around, juke. Do that 10 times. Juke, part two. This time, pull a hezzy, then a crossover, and spin. Hezzy, crossover, spin, 10 times. Try it both ways, but if you have it better on your dominant hand, that's fine too. I just wanna see if you can practice on both sides doing that. A hezzy, a crossover, a spin, and then go to the net and finish. Remember, the chair is your defender, and you're juking out that chair. Ready? Go! Final juke. This time you're gonna do the step back. First you need to juke out your defender though. So pull any kind of move you want to pull, but finish with the step back. So, crossover, wrap around, spin, step back. Make sure you get that step back at the end, all right? So keep your dribble, do your freestyle moves, finish with a step back jump shot. I wanna see only five, so go. J also stands for jelly, or the jelly layup, or the jelly shot. Get jelly. You know the shot? Let's try it out. What you're supposed to do is, when you're taking your two steps to gather for the layup, you're cocking it back like this. You're cocking that ball back like you're gonna slam it. And then you switch it into an underhand layup. So you do the cock back overhand, switch to the underhand layup. That's the jelly layup. Show me. Five times each side, left side and right side, jelly.
The final J is j -j 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 jam. NBA jam. Show me some dunks. If you can lower your net to a height that's comfortable for you, show me a couple of dunks. You got three attempts. Go for it. And that about does it. Thanks everybody for joining us today for the letter J. And then next time we're gonna see you for the letter K. I'm Coach Ari and this is Hoops All Stars. Take care.